Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and today we're watching Indiana Jones 3, The Last Crusade. If you're new to my channel, hello, I react to things that I've never seen before, so you should subscribe because analytics tells me that over 70% of my viewers are not subscribed and we are two days away from my birthday, so let's make 40k happen. We're only a thousand away. Also, of course, if you'd like to speak to me directly, you can follow me on Instagram and send me a message there. I reply to all of my DMs. Let's get into Indiana Jones 3. I'm very excited. I really like the Temple of Doom, even though I know a lot of people didn't apparently like the reviews for that movie are horrible let's get right into it yeah see there's the Lucasfilm production I didn't notice that the first two times I kind of hope this one is better than the second because the second was my favorite so it would just be I don't know it wouldn't be as great if it dipped again I want it to be as good as the second one Temple of Doom Sean Connery I think I know that name, but... Boy Scouts! <laughs> Music by John Williams, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Jurassic Park, right? Indiana has a gang now? Oh, that's not Indiana. <laughs> Oh wow, that was great exposition. All right, so this was way before. He's doing a really good Indiana impression. Props to the child actor. He's doing a really good job. Wow, that's a cool horse riding shot. Do you guys remember when we used to watch Lord of the Rings? That was a good time. Oh, that's a really cool shot. It's just tracking the train. That's so cool. See, that must have taken effort. You have to appreciate it. Oh, God. <laughs> Ouch. Goodness. <laughs> Again, they're always using... See, George Lucas and... Steven Spielberg, they're always using really creative ways to put Indy on the spot. And I think that's really cool. That's what keep these, keeps these movies fresh. It's excellent screenplay writing. It's, wow. Oh God. <laughs> Did not expect that. Oh wow, we're getting the classic, like the first time Indy ever used a whip. <laughs> See, that was really creative. Gotta love it. You got heart, kid. <laughs> oh, what, he's just gonna disappear in the box? Okay, kid. Out of the yeah. box now. Wow. <laughs> There's a hole right there. I mean, could you not see that? Wow. You gotta love it. That was definitely the best opening to any of the Indiana movies so far. That's a good sign. Count to 20. No, Dad, you listen. Junior! One, two, three, four. In Greek. Leah. Tessida. Eliminate me. Does this one focus on Christianity? Because we have a cross. What? That doesn't sit right. Mm. Damn it, corrupt county. 1938. Is that after everything? After 1 and 2? Because 2 is a prequel. Wow, so you can tell that's real water. They really filmed that. Wow. It's excellent craftsmanship. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we're getting Archaeology Professor Harrison for Ford again. Facts. I love Professor Harrison Ford. So forget any ideas you got about lost cities, exotic travel, and digging up the world. We do not follow. 
Wait a minute. This feels like the exact same. This feels like the exact same scene from the first movie. Well, it's clearly not, obviously. Girls in the 80s were so hot. <laughs> I mean, wow. I wish I lived in the 80s. That would have been so wow. <laughs> of course, he gets out through the window. I love that. <laughs> pieces in your collection here are very impressive. Well, like yourself, Dr. Jones, I have a passion for antiquities. Well, it sounds yeah, they're definitely taking a look at Christianity in this one. Early Latin text. Where'd this come from? My engineers unearthed it in the mountain region north of Ankara while excavating it with copper. Where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ resides forever. Yikes. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. What's it? You're neglecting your guests. Long in a moment, dear. Where's the original girl that I loved so much? She's the one thing missing. Maybe if the tablet were intact, you'd have something to go on, but the entire top portion is missing. Just the same, an attempt to recover the grail is currently underway. To a Franciscan friar, I think. Not supposedly, Dr. Jones. This is the manuscript in which the friar chronicled the night's story. Now, the second marker is entombed with the knight's dead brother. Our project leader- I love stuff like this. ...within the city of Venice, Italy. We're going to Italy? As you can now see, Dr. Jones, we're about to complete a great quest that began almost 2,000 years ago. Let's do it. Why don't you try my father? We already have. Your father is the man who's disappeared. Oh. Oh, goodness. I didn't even know Indy's dad was still alive. We just never spoke about it, or it was never mentioned in the movies. Dad! Dear God. Oh, goodness. The old fool. Got himself into now. His dad's grail diary. Every clue he followed, every discovery he made. Yeah, they're really going into a deep dive with Christianity. Do you believe the Grail actually exists? Of course it does. <laughs> the search for the cup of Christ is the search for the divine in all of us. Call Donovan, Marcus. Tell him I'll take that ticket to Venice now. Let's do it. Let's go to Italy. I'll tell him we'll take two. Let's do it. Okay, so I really want to know. I really want you guys to tell me why each Indiana Jones movie seems to focus on a certain religion. I think it's very interesting. I've never seen a series tackle not not different cultures, but really different religions. So the first one was, I think, Judaism. The second was Hinduism. And now we're doing Christianity. And we're actually, with this one, we're really going into a deep dive straight away, as I can tell. It's very interesting. Obviously, I am splitting this into two parts as I do with all of my Indiana videos, so you guys don't have to miss out on your favorite scenes. I don't know why I just had a brain fart. I couldn't get the words out of my mouth. I thought this was really interesting. I will say the introduction to this movie, because we're what, like 45 minutes in? The introduction to this movie is very, very, very solid. In fact, it's my favorite introduction out of all of the intros that we've gotten in Indiana Jones. It's kind of strange because I've seen pictures of the original intro from the first one that we reacted to, the very first intro scene to the first movie. That's iconic. The huge boulder coming after him, just rolling after him, actually. I've seen pictures of that as a kid. But to me, not that it's the weakest introduction, it's definitely the most iconic one, but this one really hooked me. It surprised me that we were seeing a younger version of Indy. I wasn't expecting that. In fact, I thought Indy was the one who took the cross at, 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 at the first. So I thought that was really interesting. I actually really, really liked how the story began progressing 
I thought that was really interesting. And it could, it very well could be my favorite out of the three. Temple of Doom though was very special to me because it was basically a horror movie. I really felt the stakes for all of these characters that I have grown to love. And by all of them, I mean Indy because the, the woman and the child were just so annoying. Even a week later, I think back to it and they're just so annoying. It's, it's hilarious. But yeah, I think Harrison Ford still is the best part of this trilogy. Well, not trilogy. I think there's a fourth one that we're going to watch. It, it was made in 2008, so that's really exciting. I'm interested to see how Indiana Jones looks like in modern times. I think that would be really... Wait, when was this movie made? That's very interesting. Yeah, this film was made in 1989, and then they waited till 2008 to make another one? That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time, so we'll see how that holds up. I heard a lot of people don't like the fourth one. So that's really interesting. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I mean, you guys know how the general public felt about a lot of the movies I reacted to and I ended up liking almost all of them. I think the only movie that I didn't really enjoy, like really, well, actually I hated reacting to was Solo, A Star Wars Story. That was the one movie that I watched where I was, I was in pain. I just did not like it and I don't know why. Well, yeah, it was a horrible movie, but yeah. But for Indiana, Harrison Ford, you can clearly tell that he likes this role. Even in the movies, not all of the interviews that I've seen, but even in the movies, you can tell that he likes this role more than Han. Which is why, I mean, I would never bite the hand that feeds me. You know, I would never disrespect the Star Wars universe because that was a thing that made my channel grow. You know, so to see him just kind of bash it, was kind of upsetting for me, even though I've only been a fan of Star Wars for what, seven months now? I just thought it was kind of disrespectful. You know, uh, it's the same way I feel about Daniel Radcliffe just kind of bashing on the wizarding world of Harry Potter. But you know, that's a whole other thing. There's a lot of politics in that. Obviously I don't necessarily agree with everything J.K. Rowling's been saying, but yeah. Wow, I really went on a tangent. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for being with me on this journey. I turned 20 in two days. It's, this year has been something. This year has been really beautiful, especially because, you know, I started uni this year, but also because, mainly because my channel has blown up and become something that I can't even control sometimes. It's just moving at an unbelievable pace. I'm really feeling like we've created a community. And for that, I am so grateful for every single one of you. You guys are such beautiful people. You're so kind. Although the comments on that Star Wars video was were just, I mean, wow. <laughs> but I do love you guys regardless. I know sometimes my opinions can upset you, but I, you guys should remember that we're all a part of the same community. We're all fans. We're all entitled to our opinions. We don't necessarily have to like the same things. We're all a part of the same group. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, I knew exactly what I wanted the end thing to be. If you made it to the end of this video, comment. This video should be in a museum because the amount of times that Indy repeated that was hilarious. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Subscribe to see more content. I don't know. I don't even say that anymore. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>